uh, Ohio State had Kyle McCord. All that dude did was go 11 and one. He was nowhere near a Heisman conversation and he got protection. I'm saying all he had to do was basically throw it to his version of Travis Hunter, which is Malvern Harrison Jr. We're not giving him the Heisman. So I'm going to back up off of that for just a little bit. But I do want to move on to Ohio State in this context. What's next for Devin Brown? Like, that's on my mind. Devin Brown's backup quarterback at Ohio State. Will Howard is a starter after starting 28 games at Kansas State and a grad transfer. You ain't you ain't pay all that money. Excuse me. Um, you didn't let him win the starting job for him not to start. You know what I'm saying? Devin Brown, though, is in a very interesting spot because Devin Brown came out of Corner Canyon, not unlike Jackson Dart, and not unlike Jackson Dart, was committed to USC, uh, not to Lincoln Riley, though, which had led me to a conversation I'm having with myself now I'm having with you, which is what would it take for Devin Brown to say, end up at USC if the Miller Moss experiment doesn't go well or you don't like what you got in Jaden Maiava or Julian Lewis decides to not go to USC but flip to Colorado because there's going to be a vacancy there. A lot of things that could be moving here. So I was looking at what Devin Brown, or Devin Brown, what Ryan Day had to say about Devin Brown. He said, this time last year, I thought Devin was going to be the starter. Then Kyle came along at the end. Tells you how much Ryan Day really wanted Devin Brown to take that job. And then this year, he went on. Devin has shown the ability to do just about everything we've asked him to do. It's the consistency part and the taking care of the football part that he's just got to make sure that he does a great job of moving forward. If he can do that, he can play and be a contributor. Again, it sounds like Ryan Day really would love for Devin Brown to play quarterback at Ohio State, even if he want to wear that funky 33. I, I don't. I can't get with that. Uh, you a quarterback. I, I don't care what you like about Sammy Ball, not Sammy Ball. I need you to wear a real number. 10, 12, you can wear double digits if you want to, 16, fine, 18, cool, 19, okay. But past 20, come on now. Be be a quarterback. Be quarterback at Ohio State. You know what I'm saying? Wear one. Wear two. Wear single digits. You know, we got defensive linemen out here wearing single digits, but quarterbacks want to be 33. Get out of here, man. Okay. All right. So there's that, right? Because you're giving the layperson an opportunity to just kind of look at you and give you the, give, give you the stink eye. Because they're like, wait, is that a quarterback wearing 33? Who does he think he is? What position does he think he's playing? These are not questions that you want to field as a quarterback at Ohio State. It's just, just not. But if that's your get down, that's your get down. As I said about Jim Harbaugh, he weird, but he weird with everybody. So I'll let it go. If you a mean cuss, be the same mean cuss with everybody you beat. As long as Devin Brown's energy is, I'm 33, we'll get with that. That said, he's really talented. He just couldn't throw, hold on to the football, couldn't take care of the football. Then he got hurt against Missouri. And then this year... Feels like what you need is not Devin Brown, the playmaker. What you need is Devin Brown, the manager. And that is what Will Howard will do in this offense. He will be Mr. Manager. He's going to be Winston at the Continental. Okay. He ain't got to get out no guns. He get to go back there in the vault and watch Sharon and John Wick do the work. If you got to go get you a gun because you got to go out there and be somebody, that ain't the job for you. That's not. That's not the quarterback at Ohio State this year. The quarterback at Ohio State this year need to be the dude at the front door, ringing the bell, having a martini, telling everybody it's on me. The football version is I'm saying, all Will Howard got to do is be Craig Krenzel. Okay? Craig Krenzel, not the most athletic quarterback in the world. Athletic for his time. And there's a certain, there's a certain kind of lunch pail guy that really believes that he's an athletic quarterback who had not seen Troy Smith and couldn't even – Think of Terrell Pryor, let alone Braxton Miller, or even Cardell Jones, or Justin Fields. But you know what? For their time, Craig Krenzel, what do you do? Exist between that two seconds between getting a snap and handing a booby the ball. That's all you need to do. I think if Will Howard can do that, we're going to be fine. And plus, I know that I've been getting some pushback on this, but I believe this. Will Howard is farm boy Cam Newton. That boy's six foot five, 250. He falls forward. It's a first down. You know what I'm saying? It's three yards. All you have to do is be credible throwing the ball down the field. Be credible in a zone read scheme. You got Travion Henderson and Quinshawn Judkins. And if Quinshawn Judkins is half as good in real life as he is in Ultimate Team, he going to win the damn Heisman. I can't do nothing with no Quinshawn Judkins on, on Ultimate Team. And, it, and, and in the packs, you know, I be going through it. They don't want to give it to me. They want to give everybody else Quinshawn Judkins. Like, what, what they need with 89 Quinshawn Judkins? I'm back here. I got Nick Singleton. You know what I'm saying? I don't, 
I can't do nothing with Nick Singleton. I can't do no spin moves. I can't do no jukes. But you got all that at Ohio State this year. In addition to the way that you have heard us talk about Travis Hunter tonight and the way that you heard Roddy Jones, Mark Jones talk about Travis Hunter tonight and what you saw from Travis Hunter tonight is what they are telling me they have at Ohio State and Jeremiah Smith. They are telling me that this man is who Adrian Peterson was as a freshman when nobody would shut up about him. And we're like, five star from Texas. We've had five stars from Texas before. They were like, not like this one, not like this one. And apparently that's just the thing with Jeremiah Smith. He is making Travis Hunter plays in practice all the time and over the top of really good corners heads. Okay. Not over the top of that, that crispy burnt bison out there on the island with Travis Hunter. Over the top of Denzel Burke. You know what I'm saying? Over the top of Caleb Downs. Over the top of Lathan Ransom. Over the top of, oh man, goodness, Jordan Hancock, who I still love. That dude is one of the most physical corners I ever saw coming out of North Gwinnett. Stand up. Bougie. Bad and bougie. You know what I'm saying? All to say, I think maybe Devin Brown need to be looking around going, how do I get on the football field? Maybe it's a quarterback. Maybe that's it. But when you got Julian Sand back there and Aaron Nolan, maybe it's time for you to find out, oh, that's right. Devin Brown would probably not make the wide receiver room at Ohio State. And that's not a slight because it's it's a mega buka. It's Jeremiah Smith. Then it's Carnell Tate. It's Brandon Ennis. Like, you can keep going down a list. Like, it's five-star on five-star on five-star. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, Mylon Graham is going to be a monster. Where do you put Devin Brown in all of that? Where do you put Devin Brown in all of that? You 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 don't. That's that's the problem. You You don't. I mean... Jelani Thurman at tight end is going to be a revelation when y'all get to see this boy. Like, I, the man catching all them passes at Langston Hughes from Aaron Nolan was Jelani. They just, they're so good. They're so good. I want to see Devin Brown play. I want to see him have fun. Maybe as a grad transfer, he have some good time somewhere else. But I would love to see maybe, maybe a USC, maybe a Lincoln Riley take a look at this. A couple other segments I thought I was going to get into. Perhaps, perhaps we got one more and we can do 